Oh, and if you want the recipe, <laughs> you go to do, 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 sake. So I just shouted it, over that, so it, do it again. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Tom Straker, and I'm back here with Tom Gosney. Yo! And we're cooking some Christmas classics. Cauliflower cheese with broccoli, honey roasted bacon. That's what we're doing today. Great if you've got friends over. It's going to be really simple. It's a great alternative to the Christmas ham. Epic. Epic? Epic. Yeah? Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> this is just smoked streaky bacon. It's what you have with your bacon and eggs in the morning. And we're just going to give this a quick score on the angle. You can score it however you like. It'll look beautiful when it comes when it when it all opens up. All that fat starts coming out. It's about 300 grams of honey. Look at that. Which is about one of these. All the juiciness from the pork belly and the, from the bacon is going to come ooze out, and it's going to seep in with the honey. It's going to create this lovely glaze. And so like we got the dome like pumped up to temp. We got it hot earlier. We used it for another recipe a minute ago. And now we've just literally stopped adding wood to it and letting like the temperature drop down in it using the residual heat. We want everything to cook nice and slowly so the bacon's getting nice and soft and juicy. So just shove that in. So the oven's at like three, it's 340 odd degrees, but it's like gradually dropping. With it's bones. gonna drop. Um, it's going in for about half an hour and we're going to baste it sort of every five to ten minutes and we'll just keep an eye on it. If, it's, if, if we need to put a bit more heat in the oven, then we will. You know, we don't want to over-reduce the glaze. This man knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Once the bacon's cooked, we're going to take it out, let it rest, and we'll finish the cauliflower cheese. Peggy, Peggy. Sue. Peggy Sue for a day out. As soon as the bacon's out, Peggy Sue is in the she kitchen. She was after this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really big head of cauliflower. Uh, <laughs> this is a really big head of broccoli. You want to keep the stalks nice and long. I'm going for sort of big, chunky cauliflower. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to help. So Tom, if you Tom's broccoli. If you. It's <laughs> <laughs> my favourite one, that broccoli. Take those florets into like half. Are these good enough, chef? Yeah, yeah, perfect, mate. But Great. whack them in here. Sounds looking nice. We could probably take that out, Tom. If you want to take yeah. that out and give it and bring it onto the board. We'll and you can, bit, you can just baste it to give it its first baste. Oh, look at that, mate. The liquid is, is coming out of the uh, of the bacon. Yeah. And it's, and it's really like made that honey super, super yeah. runny. So we just keep going. And that's basically adding the stock to the honey and that eventually when it's cooked, all that stock will have boiled off and the honey will get yeah. back to like a glazing consistency again. Yeah. So that's what we're waiting for. Bang now. out. The smoked bacon is looking absolutely sublime. Should we have a look? It's been in there for half an hour. Tom has been diligently basting away. I'm a and this is baster. this is the result. So we got look at all the beautiful scoring. And the honey's reduced down, and that is almost like perfect consistency now. Just sort of it's just so good. it's just clinging on. This will hold for a while. So it can hold until we finish the cauliflower cheese and then just carve it up. Bosh. So if done. people are in the garden, they can just bang some tin foil over the yeah, top. Yeah, bang of some tin foil over it, put a Put a um, couple of tea towels on it. Mid-winter, it might be quite cold, so just put it inside. Yeah. Cauliflower broccoli, tossed with olive oil and salt. Okay, and that just goes straight in the uh, straight in the dome. The dome is nice and hot because we're looking to get quick colour on this. Ultimately, when we finish the cauliflower cheese, we still want there to be a little bit of bite. The dome's at 400 degrees. We can just toss it around a couple of times. You know, bring it out after a couple of minutes, give it a quick yeah. toss and then we'll just make sure we've got nice colour. Oh, look at that. That's Mate. what we're absolutely after, that colour. I was just saying to the guys, man, it's so nice, like, blazing vegetables up, getting them nicely in charred. It's, like, such oh, a nice that... way of cooking them. Oh. Cook a normal bechamel, equal amounts of flour and butter. Cook it, cook out the milk. When it comes to the boil, keep cooking it for about five minutes until it's nice and thick. Then you add in all the cheeses, that's Parmesan, Gruyere and cheddar. Whole grain mustard, salt and pepper. Always season after you add the cheese because the cheese is salty, so you don't want to over season it and then add the cheese and think I've over salted it. So just, we just want to make sure it's nicely stacked so it's all so it's all sort of... Uh, tightly compressed Yeah, in. tightly compressed and then we're going to pour the bechamel over the top. Even that as a side dish on its own. Make any toddler want to eat their verge, won't they? Yeah. Hot bechamel, finish it with the breadcrumbs and some, some extra cheese, gruyere and cheddar. There's a few days, like a sort of stale sourdough, and just, I just blended it up with a bit of olive oil. 
You don't want the flame raging, otherwise those breadcrumbs are going to crisp up uh, straight straight away. And we, we, we do want it to be bubbly in the middle. We want it to be... It's around 450, but die, dying flame. We don't want to burn those breadcrumbs, yeah? So just keep an eye on it. Chuck it in there, it's probably about 10 minutes. Job done. I have to save a little bit of bechamel sauce. Yeah. So while this bad boy's cooking in the oven, you can get your dip on. You get your dip, dip it. Dip it. Do you want a dip? I might wait. You sure? Go on then. Go on. Didn't take much persuading, did it? Look at it. Look at it. Who wants to eat it? It's just, uh, I love it when it's just, you know, cheese just like bounces yeah. around. Filthy vegetable volcano. It's always nice to have a warm plate as well. So just put that, this ideal, see the plate warmer. Yeah, man. Mate, that looks succulent and fatty and glazy mm. and juicy. Any about. other words? Covered it, didn't it? Sexy, tasty. Tasty. nice. Tasty. So you could like carve that all up and serve it on one big, yeah. one big platter. Oh my goodness. Juicy. Look at that. Mate, the um, bechamel in conjunction with like the honey yeah. is like making me salivate. Like sweet and rich and creamy. Oh my goodness, that looks ridiculous. It's smoked bacon. It's beautifully glazed, cooked with honey, served with, I mean, a really rich cauliflower and broccoli cheese sourdough croutons it's i mean that's my christmas happy bloody happy christmas, christmas buddy <laughs> <laughs> happy christmas if you want the recipe you go to gosney.com but that is phenomenal yeah what's this up guys a... sorry <laughs> sorry um, <laughs> <laughs>